Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, I gotta confess it is my and Yvonne's week off and uh, let's just say we've got a lot of things we need to get done. This morning I have been literally on the roll uploading a load of videos to Facebook. And the reason I'm doing that guys is because I asked you guys a question on my page. How many of you guys will be interested to see in my old adventures? And it was literally a firm yes, you guys wanted to see them. My first video will be coming to the page on Saturday the 16th, and that will be after 6 o'clock. I am now going off to go to B&Q, and we're going to be going to get some wood and some perspex, because one of the jobs this week that me and Yvonne wants to get done is replace a window in the garage. But anyways, let's get on the road and uh, get to B&Q. Look at that, got our supplies there, give us a little try to put it on. Now I'm really, 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 really hoping my measurements are spot on because I've measured this and it should fit in this car. Oh my God, guys, I honestly thought it wasn't gonna fit, but look at this. We've got the plexiglass right on top there and we've got the wood right underneath there, which goes all the way down into there. Well, at least I know one thing, in the future when it comes to uh, replacing the rest of the windows in the garage, I'm gonna be able to get the supplies myself and I won't have to rely on somebody to deliver them. So I do not know what I'm gonna be doing today. There are things I need to be doing really inside the house, literally on the PC it is, but I don't really wanna be sat down like all day. I wanna be doing something, feeling productive. So, I don't know, I might take a chance now and actually start doing these uh, gardens. One thing I discovered when I was cutting the grass is something I've never seen in the front garden. We have mushrooms, guys. Mushroom here, mushroom there, and a mushroom there. And it was only until I was coming to cut this area off, but what's that in the ground? Oh, hang on, we've got another mushroom in here. So that's one, two, three, four mushrooms there, guys. Well, anyways, I'm now going to go to the back garden and get that lot done. Finally, guys, I've got the back garden done. And to be truthful, honest, it's not the best cut, but at least it's down and it doesn't look like a jungle for the cat. <laughs> well, thank you very much. So what did you say about me being speedy? Speedy Gonzales. Honestly guys, I am sweating. Can you see the sweat here? Yes. Sweat. Yeah. Honestly guys, I can't stop sweating. Ah. I am absolutely pleased I got that grass cut because the sky doesn't look good. Me and Yvonne was talking about the window in the garage. We haven't really measured the uh, lengths of screws that we've got in the house. We've got the tape measure out and looked at them and we're like, they're going to be way too small. So I said, you know, I'll pop out and uh, see what uh, Rougey has to offer. But what I'm hoping, guys, is to get enough supply, not only for one window, but three windows as well. Well, guys, bonus is I was able to get everything I needed from Wilkinson's. I uh, didn't realise they do a pick and mix with their fixings. So I managed to get a bag literally full of screws and some wall plugs here for literally half the price that would have cost me to get them all separate. Absolutely so cool. Oh my god, I can't believe how big and beautiful this rainbow is this morning. And it was just strange because I thought, wow, the sun started to come out. I'll go out and do some recording. Absolutely fantastic there, guys. Well, guys, the sight is totally different to what it was many hours ago. It's now that time for me and Yvonne to get our butts in gear. Now she's inside doing the housework and I'm about to start getting this window sorted out. And to be truthfully honest, I'm glad I'm getting it fixed today because leaving it in there a couple of months, it would have literally fell out. We didn't notice there was this gap here. That's the frame, that's the window pane and sort of dropped down. But let's just say these two panes are gonna be a pain <laughs> to get out today.
guys, I'm starting to get a little bit too frustrated now. I am literally so close to obscuring the actual frame to the wall, and I'm just doing the holes there so I can put all this through all the fittings and such. But my uh, cord has decided to lose power again. However, guys, Yvonne has been busy as well today. Not only she's put up with all the housework, she's been doing a little bit of DIY in the garden. And I must admit, it's looking really, really good. Now, you see here, where it's obviously darker there, darker there, and all this area here. That's the bits that I uh, mistakenly took off when I was getting rid of all this sort of like white pebbly stuff. I don't know what it was, but it was horrible. So yeah, that's what she's been doing today. Let's just say things are starting to come together. It is like little bite-sized, you know, DIY products, I suppose. Well guys, let's see how long this charge lasts. Well, hello there, Yvonne. Hello. Well, well, well. We have finally got the darn window done. And uh, after how many times? Five, I think. Stop starts I've had oh, to yeah. do because of the cordless. With what you've done today and what I've done today, I think we deserve to have a total flop hitch right now. What do you reckon? Absolutely. And I was kind of sitting down on the job anyway. So. As you usually do. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, we're going to go off now and go and get ourselves washed and fed and relaxed that's what i feel like doing yes yeah 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 oh bonuses deserves it doesn't he oh mm. wow guys i tell you something the sky this morning is absolutely looking absolutely amazing so what i decided to do because i have this new window i decided to set up my other camera to do a bit of a um i don't know a time lapse of the uh, sun just coming up over that area there guys i'm hoping that this time next year i'll have my own little i don't know observatory i suppose <laughs> oh wow it's like it almost looks like there's not a window there but there is <laughs> oh geez i absolutely love the sound of birds and especially more so in the morning it's kind of like nature's alarm clock isn't it I'm uh, looking across at the top of the pie green tower and when that gets really really bright that's when the sun is literally up in the sky and to be truthfully honest I can't wait to see what I've managed to uh, capture in the uh, garage. Well guys, I'm here at Quick Fit dropping off the car to get a MOT and let's just say, fingers crossed, I hope she passes. But anyways, whilst the car is getting MOT'd, I decided I'm going to take you guys to Elmore Park and have a look around. What is up here guys? Now being honest, for many, many, many years I've noticed this little bit of a lane and I've often wondered what is up here. I just got to go and have a little look, see, haven't we? Is this a BT area? Is this building BT? Interesting. Got a door all the way up there, guys. I wouldn't like to step out of there. However, the view might be great. Right, what we got here on the wall there? Don't know if you're going to be able to see me for you guys to read that. There you go. So it is a BT uh, building. Wow, guys, I've never known this building was here. I know it sounds lame, but I love finding these little buildings around Rougely. But anyways, let's get to uh, Elmore Park, eh?
right guys, if I've got my uh, facts correct here, you see that sort of island going on there in, in the middle of all this water? The original Hagley Hall was in that area before it got moved from there to across the A460 and it went over there. So it's definitely got me thinking because I've seen a lot of these uh, sort of edging stones over in that direction. So I'm thinking that that might have been the edge of where the moat was here. But anyways, I'm going to go back around on myself in a sense and take some pictures for my page and, you know, just enjoy the ambience. Just uh, what's there not to enjoy about this? Well guys, I've definitely enjoyed my time at Elmore Park and I've decided to have a bit of a walk around town because there's a wonderful thing that's actually happening on Brook Square and Rougey. And this is what it's going to look like, it seems. Let's go. Interesting look it's going to be. But anyways, I'm going to, as I said, look around town, do some uh, window shopping, so to speak, and then hope to God I get a positive result from their Mooty. Well, guys, I've got the bad news to tell you. She failed the MOT. But I will be honest, I'm not happy about it, but sometimes you have to sort of calm down a bit step back and evaluate the situation. And trust me guys, I think that's what meeting Yvonne's gonna be doing when I get home. <laughs> Wow, guys, Yvonne was really, really busy yesterday. She not only painted the drain cover, she painted the wall, and also she uh, painted the window. However, we both discovered when doing so with the window was the uh, window that I built was absolutely all straight, but the opening isn't. So I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe it's going to take that much to fill. So we're going to have to go out today and get some more supplies in order to finish that job. Anyway. Hey guys, speaking of today, me and Yvonne are going to the Breathing Carnival. I cannot wait because one, it's my first time going to a carnival. And two, it's the same for Yvonne as well. So yeah, that's going to be absolutely so much fun and we both can't wait. But anyways, me and Yvonne are back to get ourselves all ready for the day. And uh, yeah, have some fun. <laughs> Sensible cats staying in the shade. I don't blame you guys, honestly. What temperatures of the UK has been having recently? Wow, it's been definitely perfect for getting things done. And gotta be honest, me and Yvonne have been having a bit of issues with the new window. We didn't know what sort of materials that we were going to need. We discovered we needed extra things, you know, along the way. So we have um, haven't quite finished the window. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now because next week's vlog, I'll give you a bit more of an update of when it's completed. Look at that, guys. Now, this is what we were talking about, right? We discovered that this gap here was so big that it made it impossible to just use silicon, right? But anyways, I wanted to talk about the um, Breton Carnival that me and Yvonne went to. We had such a great time, honestly, guys. It was fantastic. It was great entertainment. They had so many things for, you know, different age groups and all sorts. It was fantastic, honestly. And I will say that this week has been absolutely spot on for, you know, positivities. The weather has been great, which is making me feel like I want to get on with things. And I will be honest, this morning I woke up a stupid o'clock and i went out and i done a sunrise video it was fantastic if you haven't already checked out the pictures they are on my page and give them a like and a comment that'd be fantastic but unfortunately guys this is where i'm gonna have to love and leave you for this vlog and uh, yvonne's doing stuff in the house so she can't be here to say goodbye but i'm saying goodbye on her behalf so uh as i said unfortunately this is where i'm gonna have to love and leave you so me and yvonne want to say a huge thank you for coming by it means the world to us and always guys to your best to stay positive as cruel as negative i will both see you on the next one all right bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.